Hi there, Paco here. Like many of you, for the past four months, I've been having to work from home. So instead of talking to people face to face, I've had to rely on a lot of different types of technology to do web chatting with them. There's the webcam, of course. And then there's the cell phone. Now the cell phone is great, but then there's that age old problem of having to try and prop up your phone while trying to use your hands for other things. So let's look at some of the other solutions that I've tried. First, there's this pocket tripod by a company called Geometrical. This thing's really cool. You flip it over like that, pop up the sides like that, and you've got these notches where your cell phone sits. So you can stick it on like that. You can adjust it up and down if you need to. Um, and you can even turn your phone sideways, which is pretty cool. This thing lives in my wallet all the time. Now, as nice as it is, the notches are designed to fit one size of cell phone. They come with other ones, but I can't switch, uh, easily switch it out, so it doesn't really fit on there. Next, there's my stick of gum tripod. I call it that because some of the pieces look like it might be a stick of gum. And basically what this is, is just uh, a piece of aluminum bar that I cut with various little notches. These are about the same, like that. And then these two have notches like this. And what I do is I set up one piece like this and then these notches I can adjust to different angles depending on how which angle I want to set the, the cell phone at like that or tilt it back further and tilt it back even further I also added some fake leather right here uh, just to keep from scratching up the phone. One other thing that I added is a little notch in the back of it right there that I can take and put a credit card or another card in there so that when I am using the phone it doesn't tip over which is nice. Now I've been using this for a while and it's very portable which is nice uh, but it has a few drawbacks. One, it can be a little fiddly to try and set up, especially if you're trying to do it one-handed while trying to hold the phone at the same time. Two, sometimes when my phone buzzes, the entire thing falls apart, which is not the best thing, especially if I'm talking to my boss. So then I came up with solution number three. This is what I currently use. Basically, it's just two pieces of wood. One is thick and one is thin, and they just have a couple notches cut into them. So this one slides in like so to that one. And then what I can do is I can adjust my phone to any angle I need to set it at. Now, this isn't as portable as the other two, but this is meant to sit on my desk, so it doesn't really matter. The only thing I'm worried about is that I might want to try and slip a little bit like that. Um, but I found a solution to that as well. Remember the carrying case it came in? That was originally meant as a case for my phone. I used a technique called null binding for this, um, but you could knit or sew something similar. Um, so what I do is I just simply slide it over the base like that. And now, when you set the phone, it is never going to slip. Okay, it may slip a little, but if all you got to do is lift it up a little bit, and it's got a little heel to hold it. This is going to be pretty much non-slip, no matter what you do. You could probably use this on an airplane, even. Stop. And just for fun, I added this hole in the back that is just the right size for putting my charger through, charging cord, 
so I can charge it in case that ever comes in handy. I don't know if I'll use that, but it's there, so I have it in case I need it. So there you go. Three different adjustable cell phone stands. Are they better than everything else out on the market? Probably not. But this is what I've come up with, and it seems to work for me. So until next time.